the heels of that news, there's a new study shedding light about how some parents may behave around their kids while they drink on Super Bowl Sunday. Fox's Marianne Rafferty has the story. From wings to pizza and subs and nachos, it's almost time to dig into some Super Bowl classics. And for those of legal age, that can also mean cracking open a cold one and enjoying some alcohol. But according to a recent study from the Ohio State University, parents who indulge in some booze during Sunday's big game may need to be mindful about how they interact with their kids throughout the night. One of the big things that we found is that parents who were drinking on the day of the Super Bowl were much more likely to use aggressive discipline with their children on that same day and during the same time period that they were drinking. The study examined parents of kids between the ages of 2 and 12 and the types of aggressive discipline included spanking and calling the child names. If you're used to hand, just having one drink a night and on the day of the Super Bowl you have five drinks because it's a long day, then how you react to that might be different. Um, if you're having a party or you're going to a party, you're going to want your kids to pay attention, behave, and if they're not, you might react more harshly um, than you might otherwise. Researchers also say the parents who took part in the study were mostly moms. We know that women make up about 49% of the NFL viewing population. They're also primary caregivers. What you often see is that women are doing the discipline during those times. And if they're also drinking and they're also stressed, they can also be using that aggressive discipline. To try and prevent an unwanted reaction, the study recommends parents hire a babysitter or tire their kids out before kickoff so they're less likely to get loud during game time. Marianne Rafferty, Fox News.